Before we get started with this video, it's sponsored by T. Chanley. 40% off your first order plus 20% off for life. That's 40% off your first order, 20% off for life. I would never recommend a product that I don't use myself. Ladies, get it for the fellas. Fellas, don't wait for the ladies to get it for you. That link is in the description. Also, in addition to that, make sure you tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description. We got Stock Club coming up this week, and we've been busting down a bag. In addition to that, we got the Patreon meetup on July 27th. That link is going to be in the description also. Let's get it popping, man. All right, guys, what's up? I'm gonna try to do something different on my Instagram. I have entered the dating scene. And I thought that as I take off my makeup, I would share some of my horror stories. Of course, no names will be named. <laughs> I decided to go out on this date with this one guy. We decided to did she just take off her eyelashes? Did she just take off her eyelashes? <laughs> Christ. No matter how much money they have, no matter how much visibility that they have, they are basically influencing each other. And they are out here finessing guys. And more importantly, what if somebody went and talked about and had a conversation? What if whoever it is that, they, that she's dating that she is about to mention? goes out and they start to Instagram or they start a TikTok and they start having a conversation, but they describe her to a T, but they start having a conversation about what their dating experiences is like and what they don't necessarily care about Tia Mari. It's in a different lane, man. This is crazy. Meet at a restaurant and I was like, okay, you know, fine. Let's try that. What could go wrong? <laughs> now, mind you, I it's did know lab. what this person looked like beforehand. Oh my God, I'm getting PTSD. Just telling this story. This is my life. So he ends up showing up and he's a lot shorter than I thought that he was gonna be. Shout which was pretty interesting, team. but you know, no judgment here. But what was surprising to me was he ended up showing up with a grill in his mouth to a dinner. So the this first thing that story? I'm thinking about as he sits down to order his food is, oh my God, where is this grill going to go? This is like the most uninteresting woman in the world and I'm starting to get mad at y'all for sending me this. Her horror dating story is the guy that she met at the restaurant got two red flags. A, he was shorter than she anticipated, which now I'm starting to try to figure out well, exactly how did, because you knew what this guy looked like, so exactly how did this go? Did you go on some kind of celebrity dating app? Was it that? Or, or was it a hookup? Did somebody else link y'all up? Because obviously y'all didn't meet organically. And then the second red flag is that he showed up with a grill in his mouth. Let's continue. Ah! Oh my goodness. He's just ordering drinks and all of that. Great, awesome. He orders his food. And then again, I'm just really trying to figure out where is he going to put this grill? So our food finally comes to the table. And again, I'm just like, okay, where is this grill gonna go? <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, he's not just gonna take it out of his mouth and just put it on the table. Guess what? He took it out of his mouth and he put it on the table. Yeah. Right there, right there on the table. I All mean, right. at least he had a napkin, right? But still, you guys, like, what the hell? Like, really, bro? How old are we? That is just, I don't know. It was just surprising and a little tasteless. <laughs> Womp, womp, womp. Was that like supposed, come on, man, stop, bruh, bruh. My question in this whole thing is, why would somebody choose to be in these streets? Because remember, one of the things that she said was that she graduated away from marriage. So what are you dating to do? Are you dating for fun? What is the intention? Because again, it's a difference between dating, courting, in people's minds, meaning that if you're courting, you're actually trying to get with a person 
long term that allows for you to eventually lead to marriage. So if you graduated from marriage, are you dating just to have sex? Are you dating to have fun? Are you looking to some, you know, find somebody? What women like to say, have a partner instead of actually having a husband. And then it, it kind of just like is weird because, you know, you got these small children that you be doing all of these TikToks and these Instagram reels for. And then Corey, Corey Hardrick, Hardrick, Hardrick is sitting on stage crying, saying that he can't believe that his whole life is upended. Them kids need their daddy. And then eventually, if you get to a certain point, you're going to probably have to introduce them to your kids and all of that. It's just it's a headache for people that have already been in a relationship. And it's funny because I just re read a statistic. Uh, actually, I didn't read it. I was listening to somebody state a statistic on Instagram and he was a divorce lawyer. And he said something like 80 something percent of people, specifically men, 80 something percent of these people actually get remarried sooner than somebody that is single. So when you think about that and you put that into context and we wa we're watching her uh, take her eyelashes off and, you know, become a different person and she's talking to women and trying to convince them how happy she is in reality. I know that it has to be a difficult situation because she ain't seen nothing yet. And we don't even know how long she's been dating. She says she's in a dating phase now. Bullshit. 100% bullshit. Been it was there. Gross. You know what I mean? Like, because we all like human. Your first date. We all got it's needs. Like first impressions. You know what I mean? And he just decides to put this grill right on the table as we eat. And as we're eating, I'm just like, mm. Mm. At that moment, I truly wish that I had I like music. been on a speed date, mm. you know, mm. when you can just tap out. But unfortunately, I couldn't. It was a dinner and it went on longer than I wanted it to. Girls, let me know in the comments if I am like overreacting. This is a sad, it's sad, but it's so beneficial because we can use this as a teaching moment and as an example of what you should and shouldn't do. And again, I always say, go home, go home. I mean, I'm not sure that they can go home now, but I tell women in general, go home. Don't nobody want you out in these streets. We don't value you as the same way as the person that was crying over a broken relationship. We don't value you the same as the person that want to get back with their kids. We don't value you in the streets or people don't value you in the streets the way that you think that you're going to be valued out in these streets. And if Tia Maori, who is supposed to be visible, and we don't know what she really doing behind the scenes, but we just going to take it at face value. If Tia Maori is out here having trouble in these dating streets, what hope do you think that it is for you? And again, my question then becomes, if she graduated away from marriage, <laughs> that just sounds so stupid to me. If she graduated from marriage, what did you graduate into? What? What's the what's the sum some total of that you getting yourself into if you ultimately graduated away, graduated away from the thing that you thought that you was really getting. It's just dumb. It's dumb all across the board. But I'm curious as to what you guys think. Let me know inside of the comments what you think. Maybe I'm off. Maybe, maybe women today just would prefer to be in a situationship, a solid situationship, than they prefer to actually be in a marriage to a man, especially to the man that is the father of their children. I think that women in a lot of instances today prefer to just be for the streets. I think that that's the move. What do you guys think? Again, make sure y'all tap into the Patreon link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Please do not hit me up trying to ask me where the location is. If you are not a bag chaser, it is going to be in the Patreon and I will be in Houston end of the month. All right. In addition to that, Again, T. Chanley, thank you for sponsoring what we got going on over here at the Anton Daniels channel. We love you. We appreciate y'all. Let me know what y'all think about Tia Mori uh, and whether or not she's really in these streets justifiably or if these are self-afflicted wounds. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace.